Where are we, Ian? I mean, what's going on? <laughs> Do you know? Pass. Um, I you, think the... Uh, did, have you signed a letter? No. I, I, well, I was leader and I faced a similar thing and I'm... It's not what I will do, and I've, I've said I won't. But I do think, if you want my honest view, the mood shifted, I think, quite dramatically on Monday with this decision not to hold the vote. And then uh, her statement, uh, which I think you know, many colleagues said, well, she said nothing different. What was the point of her holding the vote if she wasn't going to get it through? Well, either you have to accept that something is fundamentally flawed about this and say, I take it back off the table and we have to think about it, or... You hold the vote to get the absolute view of Parliament and then whatever necessary after that, you do it. But the problem was we went halfway between and this was the, the point why so many colleagues have suddenly, I think, moved their ground, was that you took the vote off the table but then came back and made a statement which basically said, I'll go round to see if I can get some reassurances. Well, that wasn't what the debate was about. Do you about. believe the 48 threshold's been reached? I... I if... On instinct, my, I, I think the answer is yes or... It'll be reached today by about lunchtime. And, and if it has or is about to be, what will then happen? Well, the Constitution Party is quite different from the Labour Party, which mm. Chuck and I were talking about it. The, the MPs and the Labour Party have no power to dismiss their leader, as we've shown twice. Here, the Constitution's quite clear. If, if there are enough letters, then what happens, it triggers a vote of confidence. That vote of confidence will probably be in a matter of days. Uh, and but if every she... Tory MP gets to vote? Every Tory MP gets to vote, and she has to pass the 50% mark, so she right. has to get one more vote uh, and than the other knowing side. the mood as you do, would she get that? A few weeks ago, I'd have said uh, she would have survived a vote of confidence. I think, I think the mood has shifted, but having said that, it's very difficult to pick because MPs are the most perfidious uh, electorate you've ever come across in your life. Who do you think should lead the party and try and rescue what is, at the moment, a plan that is lying in flames? Well, it's a very difficult question because whoever comes to lead the party faces the numbers in exactly the same position as Theresa May does. So the question really is uh, what... You know, they won't go on with this deal. They have to come up with something yeah. different with the EU that both the <coughs> EU is prepared to accept. So the, the big talk is about the EU's original proposal for a free trade deal uh, without any of the, uh, of the fringes that, uh, for example, customs union stuff that the Prime Minister was determined to get. Uh, and uh, I did see Monsieur Barnier about all of this, and he said that was still on the table only about three or four weeks ago. So, so. Who, who do you think would be the person? I think it has to be somebody who actually believed in, in and originally voted to leave. Give me a name. I think that's been... Well, there's a list of people there. Boris? So Dominic Raab, Boris Johnson, I think... Uh, Sajid Javid? Sajid Javid Can fan. you be a converted Brexiteer and have the right authority? Well, it may be possible, because I, I don't say for certain, but, uh, you know, he's always said that uh, his instincts were there. And the other one is Jeremy Hunt, I think that's the kind of list. Maybe... Again, a convert. Amber Rudd. Yes. Within politics, uh, people like Boris, you know, if you go back to all the, the, the ones who have big characters, etc., There'll be many people who don't like them, don't want them, for various reasons. Would he win a leadership election for the Tory party? I think he has as good a chance as the, any, that, right. uh, as the others. I don't think that you should write his chances off simply because there are some who <laughs> the absolutely is, loathe him. Chuka, uh, just, people, just a bit, I know... I'm I know. sorry, these people are incredible because the point is... You can change your Prime Minister and you can change your leader, and Ian has conceded this. Mm. It doesn't <coughs> change the arithmetic in the House of Commons and it doesn't change deal? the fact... No, it won't change the arithmetic. No, no, no but what about one, the New Deal? What one about going iota. And well, it's not, new deal? it's not clear that they could get a different deal. And the problem here is not necessarily the Prime Minister, as flawed as she is, it is Brexit. And people watching this programme will think, hang on just a minute, I'm being completely locked out of what is going on here. No, if this no, contest no, Chuka, kicks I off, completely disagree. If this kicks there are off, people watching who say, we off, voted to yeah. leave. Hang on, no, 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 that's Why not, hasn't this that's, yet no, been no, no, delivered? Me, that's, not, that's not the point I'm making. What is going to now happen is, all of today, everybody's going to be obsessed about has this 48 letters gone mm -hmm. in or not? Mm -hmm. And this soap because opera is going to dominate. Mm -hmm. And the real business, which is sorting out the mess that we're in, mm -hmm. is not being tackled at all. British politics is broken. Yeah. And yeah, but let's talk about the broken leadership of your hey, party. I'm, hey, I'm not denying that the whole edifice is a complete show. Right. <laughs> it's a mess. Do you yeah. regret now? And it's, Do you and, regret and the now? Whole, the, well, <laughs> I, I can't say it this Chuckle, time in the, the morning. Here's a question for you. <laughs> Do you regret now bottling the leadership when you had the chance? No. Why? Because I had my reasons for doing so. They were family orientated, but that was like three years ago. I know. And but this, how but actually, this? you not running, many people think. No. But it was no. one of the reasons it led to Corbyn getting in. No.
Would you like now to, you are you where like you are. <laughs> Look, as I, <laughs> you're crying after the milk got spilt because yeah. you allowed it to be yeah. spilt. <laughs> I might be. I don't think. I'm, well, I'm nowhere near. You're, as you're completely. You're, you're, you're completely blame I'm, for everything. Right no, now, right? no, because actually, <laughs> I thought I thought you had a very good chance of becoming leader. Yes. I think it would have been a very different narrative. Well, Labour Party had you become look, leader. The country definitely does now need leadership. Are you ready to lead? I, my, my view is. Are you ready to lead? No, now. No, but I'm serious. Th this is totally not on the agenda, and it's Actually, not about it's not. me. They're going to get a new leader, it's, it's and not, so are you, probably. It's not about... No, no, no. Jeremy you're Corbyn... Not gonna, you're not going to lead the party. No, no, I won't be leading the Labour Party. Jeremy Corbyn is the leader of the Ever? Labour Party. And what he... I think it's highly unlikely. And what we... What That's I think, not never, is well, it? Well, look... I, uh, I'm, I'm not like I'm not Mystic Meg. I do not think I will ever become the leader of the Labour, the Party. Labour Party. has no, moved. We're getting sidetracked here. Right. It's not about me. It is actually about our country and what the country needs is leadership. You've clearly got a government that cannot govern at the moment. You had an extraordinary situation last Tuesday yeah. where a prime minister was three defeated votes. three times, yeah. three times. So I would say the leader of the mm. opposition put down the vote of no confidence in the government now under the Fitzstone Parliament Act 2011. All the other opposition party <laughs> leaders want that. So why we can is find out. been doing this? Well, I don't know. Because he'll lose it, that's why. I don't know. Is that why? Yeah, yeah. I don't I know. Nobody wants he, to hold another vote, they're going to lose. Yeah. And then if, yes, exactly if you the point. cannot resolve in his the impasse too. in the House of Commons in that way and trigger a general election, then, as I've said on this programme many times, there's complete impasse in the House of Commons mm. and your politics, I'm afraid, to your viewers, has failed you. Clearly, this deal is not going anywhere. Right. Parliament won't approve it. And clearly, there's no majority in Parliament for us to leave without a deal, right. much as Ian would like so it. What do so you have on so the what I would say is you have the current deal that we have. All the government's economic research shows it's the best deal available. And you put Ian Duncan Smith and Boris Johnson's Brexit mm. on that ballot paper as well. Because part of the on, problem no, is... No, 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 no. Because here's what happens. Go when on, you no. put three on... <laughs> no, no, no. Right. I'm saying two. No, no. He's saying two. I'm saying two. Well, what's the two? I'm saying two. You put... You've got the, Remain. No. You, you, you've got... You've got the current deal we have at the moment and you have IDS's and Boris Johnson's yep. Brexit oh, so on that Oh, you don't paper. have Remain? No, I'm saying you do. The current deal that we've got. Well, as oh. a member of the EU. Oh, that, you, not the well, current three. withdrawal sorry. deal. Sorry, no, no, sorry, I'm, I'm confused. We, so remain, so, remain, remain, and hard Brexit. Ah, yeah, you remain, see, that's, that's, remain that's, and hard So Brexit. this is the Tony yeah. Blair position that he yeah. put on this yeah. show. Well, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, think yeah, there yeah. are yeah. loads... So you remove Theresa May's plan yes. from the whole thing. Well, because it's a bust right. right. yeah. It's got no support. But in a way, leave voters in a way, we feel they're being denied as well. If we got to a second vote, let's be honest, we're a lot nearer that than we were before. If we get to a second vote, which I still think would be wrong, but if we got to it, as Tony Blair said, actually... The only option now, he saw it, was forget the Theresa May plan. You have a Brexit which Brexiteers can sign yeah, up to your as being plan. reflecting on what plan Brexit on that is. Ballot paper right, as well. right. Yeah. Against staying in. Would but, you, if it came to a second vote, would you think that was a reasonable way well, of, of having the vote? I, I absolutely, absolutely do not think that having a second vote is but the you'd right get way your to go. Brexit, no. Yeah, but hold on a no, second. No, but hang on a moment. You, how do we know we'd get well, that Brexit? Well, because no, you no, haven't it's, negotiated. It's not, no, no, it's not that. that. My, my concern is actually with the whole principle of holding another referendum. You know, I genuinely, uh, my mailbag is full of this letters from all around the country, people saying, we had our vote, yeah. get on and leave. deliver yeah. the vote. And the problem is, it's not with the public. The public made a decision. Like mm. it or not, the public made a decision. And, you know, all through the campaign and at the beginning, from Cameron through to Chuka and others, they all promised them this is a once-in-a-lifetime yeah. vote. We're not coming back. I would settle well, the entire generation. Yeah, actually, you the, the talked about did. having another referendum. No, no, I never Ian, did. Ian, how do you... How do you... No, no, Ian, what's happening about... Surely, what's happened here? A Remainer Prime Minister has ended up doing what I expected her to do, which is to end up with a gigantic fudge, mm. which does not represent what Brexit is. Mm -hmm. It's not seizing back all the controls people thought. Getting it's actually leaving us half in the club million. rather yeah. than all out. And surely the, the choice... I mean, what? how do the Brexiteers... Fundamentally, how do you get to a position where you could actually try and force through or even try and make work real Brexit? That's the question. Oh, it, real Brexit now. Well, uh, well, yeah, because <laughs> this is not real Brexit, Theresa May's plan. No, it's not. And it doesn't deliver, I believe, on what was very clear at the time, which is that we were leaving all the things that we said at the time, customs union, single market, mm. take back control right. of your laws, your borders and your money. Uh, now, actually, there is a way through. The problem is that she has stuck to the idea of being in the customs union. Yeah. This is the big sticking point. You know, the reality is you either are in the customs union, in which case... Now you have to figure out how you kind of half stay in the European Union. And that's what people here in Parliament simply don't get. Mm. And I think either that or the choice is very clear. You're out completely. Yeah. Remain in one and Brexit were trying to get a second vote, yeah. right? You would be using phrases right now about how the will of the people, yeah. the will of the people 
was being well, for 40 well, years. Is, hang on a second, Chip. No, the winner of the okay, people in 2018. Sorry, can I just we interrupt because we've got news. breaking news and Reuters news agency oh. is reporting that the 48-letter threshold has been reached. That's... So, big news. That means Theresa May will now automatically, we believe, face a, a vote of no confidence. confidence in so her. His ballot will be held 6 to 8 o'clock this evening. Wow. Um, so they say that the threshold of 15% of Conservative Parliamentary Party has been exceeded and announcements will be made as soon as possible. OK, well, let's keep you guys here for a moment, <coughs> then, because this is really... This is bombshell stuff, right? So the serving British Prime Minister... There's now 48 that is in to the 22 committee. She will face a vote of confidence in her. You, you believe, fundamentally, that given the atmosphere right now, she She'll will lose, lose this. This could be the end of Theresa May. I think there's a very good chance that, uh, that, that she won't be able to get over the threshold. I may be completely wrong, because we're dealing with mood swings here, and even in 24 hours, people can change their minds uh, 100 times. This happened before Mrs Thatcher. The difference was she won her vote, and in those days, the Conservative Party constitution said you had to win it by 60%, and she won it by just under. Now it's been changed. It has to be, you know, literally won over the 50%, mm. uh, and uh, you're no longer leader, or you are leader. The... You, you, you know, you've been around <clears throat> the block a lot longer than you would like me to probably tell people. Face this but you've, you've been situation. in the corridors of Westminster, right? Yep. You've, you've picked the temperature up in the last few days. As you say, from the moment she bottled mm. the, the vote, the moment she bottled that vote, I think everything changed. I detected that. And you yep. feel you have the same sentiment inside Westminster. I think the general view is that um, from Monday onwards, I, I just really did sense that lots of colleagues in what I call the kind of middle ground of the Conservative Party actually decided that that what they needed now was clarity. They needed somebody who was very clear about what they wanted to do and wasn't bogged down now in trying to please both sides or this side. They gave us some leadership. And this is the truth about politics at the end of the day, is you either lead and then demand that people follow you, or if you get bogged down trying to satisfy every single other person, then what happens is nobody ever coalesces mm -hmm. around mm -hmm. a position. And you'll see that from all the great leaders mm -hmm. of the You need past. an inspiring you know, leader you, who has They will plan. take leadership. People take leadership, yep. even if they don't agree Chuka, with well, uh, we should does just, it. We should put down a vote of no confidence. If we don't put it down In today... The yeah, I mean, it's extraordinary for, for uh, an opposition today of all days not to put yeah, down but that's a, failure a of vote. Is there an yeah. argument, though, Chuka, that actually watching the Tories self-implode like this, that Jeremy Corbyn is playing a slightly longer game. He's like, look, this lot are all over the place, and let's just watch them eat themselves alive. No, because the clock is ticking. This is our problem. <clears throat> and I think we need to force these issues and resolve these issues. And ultimately, I think it will end up back with the people. Uh, look, the 29th of March, that clock is ticking. Mm -hmm. And you do wonder whether part of the reason the hard right of Ian's party have done this is because they know it's going to waste more time okay. on the way... To I have the, the press release here. Uh, Votes is from uh, Sir Graham Brady, MP, chairman of the 1922 committee, House of Commons note paper, uh, just been released. The threshold of 15% of the <coughs> parliamentary party seeking a vote of confidence leader of the Conservative Party has been exceeded. In accordance with the rules, a ballot will be held between 6 and 8 p.m. tonight, Wednesday, 12th of December, in Committee Room 14 of the House of Commons. The vote will be account votes will be counted immediately afterwards. An announcement will be made as soon as possible in the evening. Arrangements for the announcement will be released later today. I'll be available for questions. So, there we have it. Uh, breaking news. The threshold's been met. Theresa May fighting now for her political life.